Black Box Productions. What y'all know about this? Damn all that. <laughs> Your boy Buck Jenner should be proud. He really sleeping on his opportunity on my mama mama. But uh, Valentina Sampaio, the first transgender sports illustrated swimsuit model. For all the men through the years <clears throat> who have supported, the heterosexual men has, who have supported Sports Illustrated um, swimsuit and called it to be what it is from a consumer standpoint, I wonder how y'all feel. I really don't have a problem with anybody pursuing any type of um, lifestyle that they desire. My thing is, what blows my mind is <clears throat> how society is eliminating your opportunity and your right to present your church, your children, um, education on certain very, very important issues. It's like. I it, I don't understand the necessity for inclusion on the level of full equality as far as how can you impose upon an actual man or woman who when they're because it's always about someone's experience and someone's um, perspective versus reality or someone's truth um, they always turn these these conversations using these type of um, phrases to kind of justify why there should be celebration on our behalf of what another is going through or why we should be um, almost barred, banned for having anything to say on the subject other than yay, 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 yay. If you have anything other than say, other than yay, 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 you see how easy it is to become ostracized or fall under attack. But I don't understand how they can push this equalness to where, how far is it going to go? Because are you telling me that if tomorrow... Dwayne Wade decided that because, or it don't even matter because, if Dwayne Wade decided to take the same route in life that his um, son has taken, is he now qualified to then exit the NBA and then join the WNBA? And if that's not an automatic yes, of course, why not? Then there is not an actual justification to force us as members of society to only have one response to these issues publicly. If we can be honest enough to say that it's unfair for Dwayne Wade to tomorrow declare that he identifies as a woman and then exit the NBA and then enter the WNBA, if that's not 100% fair, then I believe there are is room for other perspectives on this subject other than yay, 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 without everyone being offended. Especially if, as a human, you can be, if you are committed to being as sensitive or as um, considerate of others' actual feelings as you possibly can while having such a serious conversation, we have to to be allowed, according to the First Amendment, to be able to acknowledge, point out, and discuss the actual differences before we're forced to be uh, accept a bombardment of a perspective of an unnatural fact and finding. Before we're forced with that, there has to be a voice speaking up on the behalf for us to be allowed to not, if not only speak the natural perspective on behalf of our children. You can't tell me I have to lie to my children and tell them that that Sports Illustrated model is just like the woman you saw last 
month. And it's not that equal. It should never be forced upon anyone else to consider it that equal. Anyone in their own personal lives, I know I have no right to speak on that. But once you take your personal life and then put it at the forefront of public life and then try to shape society's concepts on a whole, campaigning is one thing, but then forcing and bombarding is a whole other thing. And I just, I believe that, you know, the fact remains that transgender is not a natural term or concept. It is a word um, created um, to describe something that came along. It is not part of the original origin of the nature of the human, the homo sapien. Um, life can and has been sustained without that type of expression of life for a long time. It is now an inclusion into a world that was totally sufficiently established without its existence. And we just have to be allowed to discuss it honestly and call it what it is. Because if you don't realize, as time goes by, um, definitions change, terms change, ideas change, and then policies change. And then you look up and realize you agree with things that you disagree with, actually and don't really realize when you decided that you were changing your uh, position. But I ain't gonna hold y'all much longer than this. Don't get mad, mon don't, don't get mad, get money, love life. And be about your marathon at all. Snack with Nip Hustle. Big shout out to my nigga SPI, Spotter Low. You know, I'm in the black box, had to come through, tap in, show love one time. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned. All